good afternoon everyone. Kerm Martian here back with Train Simulator 2019 and it has been far far too long since I have streamed Train Simulator. This is I'm going to call this Train Simulator 2019 episode 1 and this is Kerm Martian live number 33 the 33rd Train Simulator stream that I have put together. So we are back once again this time we are in the US. We are starting from Grand Central today and we're going to be heading all the way up to South Norwalk. We're going to be pulling eight Metro North coaches with a P32 diesel electric locomotive. Good afternoon, engineer. Today you are tasked with taking this passenger service from here at Grand Central, finishing at South Norwalk. Allow the passengers to board here before leaving. Our train is already set up, so let us open our doors. We have our reverser and forward, we have a little bit of brake on, and we are basically set to go, and we have train brakes enabled, which is what we want. Ah, support chat, that's always fun, Eames. Thank you for joining me, thank you for helping me fix the audio and video issues there. I was having minor difficulties, so we got as far as exiting the Park Avenue tunnels and then started over again. So here we are, back at Grand Central. So I was just saying in the previous version of this video that you will never see that I have gotten much feedback in the intervening like seven months honestly since wow crazy since I released my last train simulator video of people on YouTube watching my videos and commenting their feedback some people said that I should talk more during the videos. some people said I should talk less during the videos uh, I guess the people who wanted more talking wanted more interesting narration as we rode and didn't want to just look at the views and the people who wanted less wanted me to just give you something to watch and enjoy and hopefully concentrate a little bit more on getting perfect scores which is always easier when I'm not thinking about talking. So that leaves us with the compromise of probably not really changing anything. Alright, we've got a time this bonus. Let us release our brakes. We are already in forward. And let's notch up to about 50% throttle and get going. We have a 15 mile an hour limit as we navigate the interlocking and ladder leading out of the Grand Central platforms into the Park Avenue tubes, Park Avenue tunnels. So although this is the New York to New Haven line that came with, uh, let's see, I think it was first in Train Simulator 2017 perhaps? Uh, might have been 2016. Uh, we are not taking the usual route, which is Amtrak's and Long Island Railroad's Penn Station, East River Tubes, uh, Sunnyside Yard, and then for the Amtrak scenarios, going up through Queens, the Hellgate, and the Bronx instead. And we do have the lineup, despite not being able to see in front of us. Um, instead, we will be heading up Park Avenue, coming out at 97th Street and Park Avenue, going over the Park Avenue Viaduct until we reach the tip of Manhattan, crossing the East River and then proceeding through the middle of the Bronx, going through places like Fordham, let us not speed. Uh, lost a couple of points there, six points, it's fine. Uh, where we then eventually will rejoin the Northeast Corridor at New Rochelle. But first we have to navigate this long section of 15 mile an hour interlocking before we can put it against the post and get up to 60 miles an hour. And we'll see what our P32 can actually do with these eight coaches attached. We'll see how fast we can get. I think we can get towards 60 miles an hour at the least, at the very least. We're operating from this end, although if we eventually find ourselves with our camera looking at the other end at some point, we'll see that we have a Comet cab car at the back end of this train. One of my, I think my most popular train simulator video ever to date was about my sixth video or so where I took a similar train of P32 instead pushing a set of Metro North coaches with a Comet cab car at the front going from, let's see, I think I was going from Stamford to Grand Central. And that was, for some reason, far and away my most popular video to date. I'm not sure why. I think it was more the subject matter than the video contents itself because it was a little bit of a dicey video. There was a train simulator technical difficulty in there. <clears throat> that I think made the train freeze at New Rochelle, but hopefully we don't run into any issues like that today. Yay, you got through to support. Congratulations, Eames. That is good news. Still crawling through our 15 mile an hour zone. I think there's gonna be some tracks joining us from the lower level on the left momentarily. 
we are on what I expect to be the southbound express track, which is rather confusing to me, but whatever. Crawling along, crawling along. Let's stay up near that 15 limit as we inch closer and closer to the 60 marker. And I might operate from outside a bit later. The problem is I need to keep an eye on my dead man. This locomotive as the dead man that every 60 seconds, if you don't change anything about the controls, it will basically trigger the AWS, the alerter, and you have to acknowledge it in order to not go into emergency. Almost at the 60 mile an hour zone. And then from my quick little test of this earlier, we will have to get back down to 45 to switch over to what I expect to be the northbound express tracks. Oops, speeding again. Dang it, another eight, eight points. Bah, humbug. All right, to the post. And the window. Probably not to the wall, however. Let's see what this locomotive can do. 25 miles an hour. Thirty miles an hour. I don't think I can look at it in the tunnel, can I? No, I cannot. Thirty-five. It would be neat if it would tell us exactly where we were relative to what is above us. I'd estimate we're probably under like 60th Street right now. 40 miles an hour has been left in the dust. 45 miles an hour. There's that dead man. And there's the 45 limit at the end of, well, as we switch over. That is once we are outside. And I think I see the portal at the end here, but that could also just be a tile that has not loaded in yet. Who knows? 51 miles an hour. We are not accelerating quite as fast anymore. I don't know what the stopping distance on this is like, so that's going to be a learning experience. I think the brakes are pretty good. I think they're pretty good, but we shall see. We shall see indeed. 56 miles an hour, still accelerating. there and 60 miles an hour throttle down as we exit the Park Avenue tunnel all right let's think about doing a little bit of braking graduated self lap 20 should do it 20% That should be plenty. Yep, still alive. Thank you. I know. I'm, I see it. Down for the 45. Thank you. I guess I should probably adjust this so I can see my in cab signaling over here on the left side. Now it's telling me I can go back to track speed, 60 miles an hour, but because of the way train simulator works, we can't do that until the end of our train gets into the 60 zone or we will get penalized. So the in-cab signaling and you know what you can actually do and how train simulator does speed limits don't exactly agree but whatever. Now we're gonna have to get down to the 40 as we start heading towards Harlem 125th Street and we'll of course have to stop at Harlem 125th to pick up passengers. Let's throttle down, put some brakes on and start getting down for that 40 there. Feather our brakes slightly. There we go. 40. And keep a little bit of throttle on. Just to maintain our speed. 
we do have a schedule to keep. Our ETA is apparently 20 seconds late, but let's hope that's not true. A little bit of lag here as we head towards 125th Street, and we are high. We have a high perspective here. All right, I think braking is in order. We're about to enter this platform. Hello, fellow P32. All right, that should be plenty slow enough. Sorry, passengers, for the inconsistent braking. I'm still getting a feel for this particular train. 18 miles an hour as we coast in. We should be here right now. Make sure we can get the whole train on the platform. Two cars to go. One car to go. Put those brakes on. And if we overhang the engine, it's not the end of the world. But I think that's exactly what we run want right there. All right. 20 seconds late. Let's hope it's generous about it. Doors open. My bell is on. Well, that's odd. No bell. Thank you. Headlights are indeed on. That's good. Take a screenshot here. Might as well. So there's our P32, number 216 complete with escape hatch at the front. And we've got our eight coaches here. Zoom through here and take a look at the back of our train. There's Manhattan, downtown midtown Manhattan in the distance. There we go. 6301 is pulling up the rear. For some reason, we have an engineer sitting in our cab car. Not sure what he's doing there. He's keeping an eye on us, I suppose. Doors are closing. Time minus bonus, brakes off, off we go. Where's our brake pipe gauge? Where is it actually? Huh. Where are our gauges here? Ah, there we go. ER and BP. Very good. Faster, I say. Faster! Got a schedule to keep. New Rochelle is our next stop, so we are an express train in that I don't think we'll be stopping at all the individual stations between New Rochelle and Stamford, and we certainly will not be stopping at the stations between 125th and New Rochelle. So all we got to do is keep an eye on our speed limits. We have a 35 limit going up the remainder of Park Avenue as we head towards the bridge up there that you can see in the distance. 28 miles an hour. Braking! Yeah, I need to learn to brake more smoothly with this. I'm getting better with trolleys. Trolleys and subways I'm getting much better with. But this particular loco, I did not know. It's braking power. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh yeah, look at that. Screenshot. As always, this is a slightly older train simulator map, so the headlights are way brighter than the 1.45 p.m. sunlight, which makes no sense whatsoever, but whatever. Now, I think I had a problem in the past here where I couldn't get a signal, but we'll see what happens. We're going down a slight grade here, so I will not put my throttle forward. This is where the Hudson Line splits off from the Harlem Line and the New Haven Line with Metro North. We do have a highball, so let's see what we can get. Track speed is approved. One of the things I discovered since the last time that I streamed Train Simulator is the hilarity that can be flight simulator videos. It still doesn't appeal to me personally as something to do, but there we go, 40 mile an hour limit. But I found uh, Air Force Proud 95's videos on YouTube and found them to be hilarious. Definitely worth a watch and or a rewatch. I will have to find somebody else to heckle me. Thank you, Eames. I hope you have successful cleaning and I hope that that support chat yielded what you needed from it. All right, so we are heading towards a 60, but I'm gonna have to throttle down to avoid speeding, unfortunately. I'll take a sip of my coffee. I think my milk is slightly sour. This is not stuff you have to know. My coffee tastes a little bit bitter. 
sour more than beer. Ugh, yeah. Blah, blah. Almost have the whole train in the 60. There we go. Throttle up. Six miles an hour. We have a 75 coming up, even more exciting. In cab signal is still indicating track speed is approved. Hello there, people waiting for the local. And goodbye. Not sure what that Melrose main to east is. I don't see an interlocking here. Fifty-six in the sixty as we cross into the seventy. I'm still alive, thank you. Hello. Hello, friendly train. Fifty-nine miles an hour, zooming along. 60 miles an hour in the 75. It's a nice view. Nice and peaceful. It's a little bit quieter back here. One of my dreams remains being able to recreate the entirety of the New York to Essex Junction section of tracks in some game, whether it's Train Simulator or TSA or whatever it happens to be. We have a 65 coming up. I'm going to get back into my cab. Ooh, I like it better back here. Q every once in a while for my dead man switch. Really is a nice view from back here. It is nice too. So I have the throttle against the post and 67 miles an hour is what we're doing. So it looks like we're going to struggle to reach 75. I'm not sure what the max speed of this loco is, especially with eight coaches behind it. Sixty five limit coming up. Keep an eye on that. Let's see what we can get for deceleration simply by not accelerating. That should be interesting. Let's see how much drag and friction gets us slowing down. Let's do that about here. And we are losing speed. Not fast enough, I suspect. Not fast enough. Put a little bit of brake on. 28% graduated self-lap should be more than enough. I believe this is Fordham. Check that. Fordham. Very good. That's Fordham. I'm just being silly. We are well within the 65, so let's throttle up a little bit. We have another 60. We have a 60, rather, coming up shortly. We're actually losing speed even with the throttle on. I don't know. I think that... Uh, Restreamio's dashboard is not telling me the truth today, but it's telling me that nobody is watching, and I know we at least had Eames here, so who knows. Let's see if we can get some nice trackside action. Ooh, not like that. Not like that. There we go. Oh, yeah. I would like track side if you can, not above the tracks. Oh, had it and lost it. Had it and lost it. That's the problem with express tracks. It doesn't like putting the camera next to the tracks. Well, I'm glad that YouTube is being more truthful than Restreamio. There we go. That's a little bit better. 
I think that's still not quite what I want for my screenshot action. But I will take one. We have a 70 mile an hour zone coming up. That'll be nice. Hello train, you are on the local tracks. Oh, I appreciate that, Alara. I think it's been pointed out to me that I have a different voice that I use for train simulator videos and kind of narration in general versus what my everyday life voice sounds like. I don't know what that's about. I've also, it's been pointed out to me that when I am teaching something, I use a deeper voice than when I am learning from somebody else who has expertise. Yep, this is the brand new Minecraft update. Did I leave it saying Minecraft? I fixed Twitter, excuse me, I fixed, fixed Twitch, apparently. I failed to fix YouTube. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they put in more trains and they made it look a lot more realistic. How's it going, Carson? Thank you for joining us today. We have a 45 mile an hour zone coming up, so let us put on some brakes for that. Nice gradual braking. We have the highball. I'm not expecting a lot of restrictive signals today, but we shall see. We shall see. We don't know what the scenario creator has in mind for us. I also almost missed the dead man alert there. Well, they, it has blocks. They're just very, very small blocks. They're atomic sized blocks. 45 mile an hour. 45 miles an hour, excuse me, is to cross over onto the local track here because we are going to be branching off from the Harlem line towards the New Haven line. We're going to go up a hill here, so we're going to need some throttle. In fact, we're in a 60, so we're going to need all the throttle. In real life, I would have to do a changeover here from third rail to, I guess, diesel, since we don't have pentagraphs on these, but here in Train Simulator, I think it's just gonna pretend that I did that for me. Especially since our prime mover has been operating this whole time, as you can hear from all the background noise. Five small, six me. Nine fast, 12 furious. Got some cars going over that bridge above us. Very nice, very nice, good touch. locomotive is a little bit rocking. Slightly concerning, but whatever. We're going to hope we're not going to derail at 50 miles an hour. Dead man. So as I was saying, and I think the version of this video that will get cut off because it was where there was no video and inaudible audio, uh, I have continued to volunteer at that train and trolley museum that I think I mentioned in some of my older streams. I had for a while been just going there and helping out with various interesting things. Uh, things like working on the overhead catenary, the electric wires that the trains get their power from, uh, working on track, working on fixing a subway car. Um, last winter, I took their training class. I did their training class, so I'm now qualified to operate trains and trolleys there. And I spent some of my summer and fall volunteering and operating trains and trolleys for the public. Um, now that it's winter and operations have shut down for the season, it'll be back to more work with catenary tracks and repairs. We are currently repairing a 1920s streetcar. It's called a PCC. Uh, it's kind of a, almost a predecessor to the buses that came a decade or two later. It looks a little bit like a bus and it even operates a little bit like a bus even though it runs on rails. I digress. So that's been taking some of my, well, all of the time that I allocate as quote unquote free time. As you guys know, probably Geopipe takes almost all of my time. That's still going pretty well, pretty well indeed, if a daily source of stress and time, but oh well, such is life, such is life. 
Other interesting things have been, let's see, revisiting Vermont for the first time in about a year and a half and enjoying some beautiful snowy vistas there. It is a very beautiful place. If you have not visited, you should very much do so. Um, what other highlights have been in my life? Not a whole lot. Work and a little bit of relaxing, mostly work. Really not much to tell. Certainly very little train simulator, sad to say. By the way, we are estimated to be a minute early to New Rochelle at this point, so that's nice. So currently we're cutting about northeast across the Bronx to head towards the northeast corridor, by the way. Uh, 56, but we have a 45 coming up. We're going to be switching tracks again, I estimate. So let's put on some brakes. 20% graduated self-lap. It's so luxurious to have brakes that lap themselves. I'm so used to having to self, you know, lap with them myself. So I think I've explained that in the past. Let me explain exactly what that means. So self-lapping brakes are like car brakes. You set them to a particular point and that's the amount of brake effort you get. Yep. The more, the further you move the handle into the braking region, the more braking you get and the faster the train slows down. Um, there is also manually lapped brakes. So manually lapped brakes mean that you have three things you can do. You can add more air to the brakes, which makes them apply harder to the wheels, which makes the train slow down faster. You can keep the brake pressure exactly where it is, or you can let some of the air out of the brake cylinder. So applying the brakes involves moving the handle until you put the right amount of air that you want, and then setting it back to hold the current amount of air that you have and slow down with the current amount that you're holding. Uh, we have a 50 mile an hour zone, so let's not accelerate too fast. So that requires a lot more effort because you have to actually think about add air, hold, add air, hold. And then as you get towards almost stopping, because you don't want to, oh dear, I missed a 30 mark. Oh, look at my points going away. So busy talking, oh bother. And I missed a 30. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Well, emergency brake. What? Not an emergency. Well, well, we're just gonna have to live with that. That's what happens when I talk. That is what happens. I start getting excited about explaining something and everything goes squiffy. This is not the first time we've learned that lesson. Not the first time at all. So now we're at negative 30 points. Go us. Go us indeed. We do have to stop at New Rochelle, so at least we are going slowly for that. But tragedy, tragedy appears and ensues. Anyway, so that was your primer on self-lapping versus manual lapped brakes. Coming in at 29 miles an hour, so let's start setting up our brakes once we have maybe a third of the train in the station. Let's put ourselves in like 26%. Yeah, that seems good. A little bit more, I think. A little bit more. Oh, too much. Still got to get the whole train on the platform. We're going to have to overhang the loco slightly. At least we have extra time to deal with because we got here early. And there we go. Brakes. All right. Train is stopped. Doors are open. Here we are at New Rochelle. If this is your destination today, please make sure you have all of your belongings. And thank you for riding Metro North. <laughs> Least points possible. Oh, that's that's something I can definitely do. <laughs> that is definitely something I can do. However, I will not. Um, some people get a lot of views on their YouTube videos. That is a loud train. Stand by. By doing things like trying to speed as much as possible, trying to crash their trains. I have never quite enjoyed that. So I will stick with continuing to try to get points despite our 350 point penalty. 
our handicap here. So now we are sitting in these coaches. These are old, old coaches. I'm pretty sure they don't run these anymore. I'm not sure. This, I mean, this scenario is a few years old now, so there's absolutely no guarantee that it is anywhere reflective of reality. But I don't think they run coaches like this anymore. Something went ding. Why did something go ding? It sounds like a hangout sting. Almost time for us to depart New Rochelle, so let me lighten our brakes slightly. We got our timeliness bonus, that's good at least. Brakes off, 45 mile an hour limit, and let's take off at about 50 miles an hour. Excuse me, 50 miles an hour, 50% throttle. <laughs> Losing my mind here. Two thirds throttle. And let's go, let's go full throttle. We're in a 45, then 50, 45, 50, 70. So the fun thing about going through the Northeast Corridor is it is not at all straight, which is part of why, as you know, if you've listened to my many, many rants, we can't actually really have high-speed rail on the Northeast Corridor, true high-speed rail. Twist and turn, so the speed limits constantly go up and down. 33 miles an hour as we cross into this 45. That's fine. Are we going to switch tracks? Yes, we will. Forty miles an hour. Forty-two miles an hour as we enter this fifty, so we are okay. We can keep that throttle against the post. Ooh, there is a an ACS sixty-four with an Ampli consist waiting for us to get out of the way. Thank you guys. Thank you for waiting for us. Much appreciated. Still alive. Thank you. We have an 80 coming up, if I'm reading that correctly, so that's good. See, if I had either looked at the HUD or paid attention to my in-cab signaling, I would have seen that 30 coming up. But I was in teacher mode. Sad. Sad to say. Next stop is going to be Greenwich, track 4, in 10 miles, 10 and a half miles. So we are making a few stops here and there. Sixty miles an hour in an eighty, we are perfectly fine. I'm not sure why we're not accelerating faster than that. We are well, we're actually going down a slight grade, so weird. Weird, weird indeed. Power and speed. Speaking of which, I hope uh, it's almost time to start Grand Tour again. We have another ACS 64 pulling an Amfleet consist here. Blow our horn at them and then remember to turn our bell back off. Ooh, Factorio, my friend. Uh, Earth Dragon has told me that Factorio is something I would enjoy very much, and I think he's probably right about that based on what I know about it. I would enjoy it. So I didn't realize it was multiplayer, though. That's interesting. I would enjoy playing it with you in my multitudes of free time, my multitudinous free time. Switch over to the other side of this train. 68 miles an hour in an 80. Double check our in cab signaling. We're fine. I think we need another screenshot, but not with that gantry in the way. There we go. Aha! Fascinating. So, speaking of servers up, so this is completely unrelated. I discovered that for about the past eight years, Chemitech has been running an Armagetron, or Armegatron server, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, server. And 
I completely forgot about it. I forgot how much fun I enjoyed having playing that game in college with people like Elf Prince 13 and TI Freak 8X and others. So if you've ever played Armageddon Armageddon and want to play it, you should join on the Kevin server. No server needed for multiplayer. Good to know. I assume it is a Steam game and that it costs some dollars but not many dollars. Still speeding along at full throttle, 74 miles an hour, 70 mile an hour limit coming up. Eh, I can look. Oh, which? Armageddon or? Yeah, it's it's fun. It's the uh, light cycle racing from Tron. Cool. I will have to get Factorio. Alright, I think it's time to throttle down here for the 70. Are we going to coast down fast enough? I don't think so. I think I'm going to have to use a little bit of brake here. Yep. That'll do it. Down for the 70. A little bit of throttle to maintain our speed. See, this is one of those curves we have to round in the on the Northeast Corridor, especially north of New York. And south of New Haven, actually the stretch between New Haven and Boston, I feel like, well, definitely has higher speed limits. <laughs> 34 Canadian. I don't know, so probably like 25 or 30 US. We have six six miles until Greenwich. Got to remember to stop there and not breeze right through it. Fifty mile an hour limit coming up, so we're going to have to lose about seventeen miles an hour. Yeah, that's what I estimate. Have to do some braking. See what thirty one percent brake gets us. Oh yeah, that should be plenty. 58, 57, 56, and I actually really slow break. 53. We are losing a little bit of speed, but we're going downhill. A little bit more braking. A little bit more braking. There we go. 50. A little bit of throttle. Five miles to Greenwich. Another P32 with one, two, three, four, five, six coaches. Still in a 50, crawling along. We are estimated to be Three seconds early to Greenwich. We'll see how that works out for us. We shall see. Must be summertime here in New York slash Connecticut. Trees are full. Looks like we have a nice bright, slightly fluffy cloudy day, but mostly bright and sunny. We are creeping up on the speed there. Let's keep an eye on that. We've got a 70 coming up, so we'll be able to really throttle up. Three and two-thirds miles to Greenwich. Almost 
almost in that 70. Almost in the 70. And there we go. Power! Speed! Solution for everything. Speed and power. We do have a 45 coming up, so let us not get too enthusiastic with our acceleration. Down for the 45. Two and a third miles to Greenwich. As we round yet another tight curve. And we are crossing into a 50 zone, but not quite. I was in danger of speeding there. All right. Put on a little bit more throttle because we're going into a 70 now. And that'll get us all the way to Greenwich. And then I assume after Gren Greenwich will be Stamford and then South Norwalk. But we shall see. We shall see indeed. There we go. Into the 70. There's Greenwich coming up on our hood. Ugh. Ah. Blech. Sorry, that was, that was faces and sounds to go with sour coffee. So based on the braking power of this train, let's try entering the platform at around 40 miles an hour, I think. And that should be good enough. I usually try to go for around 37. Weird little quirk. But seems to do the trick with almost every train. Yep, still alive, thank you. Screenshots for days. Throttle down, I think, and start applying a little brake. And I think I'm going to go into the cab so we can keep an eye on things from up here. Another Amtrak train, a long Amtrak train, must be a Northeast Regional. Beautiful. That's how we do. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's great. That is a good stop. Very proud of that one. All right. We are here at Greenwich. 
our passengers are now disembarking and might have some embarking, you never know. We got here on time, so good for us. <laughs> you just gotta multiply by 1.6, it's easy. Quote unquote, I'm making air quotes here. Timeliness bonus, doors are closed, brakes are released, and off we go. So we're starting out in an 80 kilometer per hour zone here. So let's be careful. And then going straight into a 112 kilometer per hour zone. I may have pulled out my handy dandy TI-84 plus CE to help me with this. I may have. Also, I can't, all right, I thought there was a second speed limit on that sign besides 70, but. Just a weird quirk of train simulator, so throttle up. Next stop is Stamford in just four and a half miles. And I believe that'll be our second to last stop before South Norwalk. Let's double check our task log. Yep. Stamford followed by South Norwalk. We are at 72 kilometers per hour and accelerating through Green Main Four East. Green Track Four Main East would be another way to say that, I think. Green Main Track Four East, something like that. I did not see Green Main West anywhere, but presumably it existed. Metric system, best system, yeah, I prefer it. All right, we have a an 80 kilometer per hour limit coming up again, so let us throttle down, followed by another 112. A little bit of braking there. Down for the 50 as we cross over a river whose name currently escapes me. Or bay, I think there's a bay. Very nice. Screenshot worthy, one might say. Screenshots for days. Hello, other train. Not sure why you have your locomotive at the front. At the southbound end. Weird. I feel like these trains usually have the locomotive on the northbound end. Two and a three quarter miles to Stanford. We are in a 70, so let's throttle up. We want to be there on time today. Our ETA is two seconds early. We shall see. We shall see indeed. Got to get that exciting track level view.
still accelerating, but we have a, another 50 mile an hour, 80 kilometer per hour limit coming up in a mile and a half. That'll be right as we start to approach Stanford. Uh, why are we facing backwards? Do not like. I can't switch seats very easily. Did I just get some braking? I did. This is what happens. Gotta watch out for that. My dead man triggered. Luckily I caught it before it went into emergency. Exactly, Eames. Screenshotting my way along. Alright, we have 50, 45, 50. Currently going a little over 50. So we need to go 50, 40, 5, 0, 50. Just setting that up in my head. I think once we get to the signal on a third of a mile, I will start braking. So in fact, I'm going to throttle down probably still going around the curve. So maybe get to this curve. Let's say about here. Throttle down. Coast. A light brake application. Uh, too heavy, too heavy. That's fine. Down to the 50. Three more miles an hour to shed. Really, two miles an hour to shed before we reach that 45. It looks like we're going to do that just by the power of friction and hills. We're going up a 0.6% grade. There we go, in the 45. Down for the 45, not in the 45 yet. And here comes the town of Stamford. We've got a southbound Amtrak train just pulling out of Stamford. Hello, you don't have your headlights on. Start thinking about a little bit of braking as we coast in here. A little bit more braking, I think. Just a little. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. To blur this arrival. Yeah, I'm going to call that a success. Doors are open. Welcome to Stanford, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Danbury Express. If your destination today is South Norwalk, Danbury, or anything along the Danbury branch, this is your train. Otherwise, if you are trying to go to New Haven, you should not get on this train. If people wanted to get off on this right side platform, they could have. Actually, I'm kind of curious if the doors opened on this side on the other coaches. They did. Interesting. Well, now we know. Time of this bonus. Brace released. Off we go. We have the high ball. We're in the 45 mile an hour zone. 72 kilometers per hour for our superior metric friends. Let's get a move on. Next and last stop for us is South Norwalk Track 4 in 8 miles, where I will be handing over the controls to another engineer to take it the rest of the way down the Danbury branch. Full throttle, I think. So our score, assuming everything goes well, should reach about 6.30. So, yeah, that's about what I expect, modulo the uh, unfortunate speeding incident we had. 
Very long time no stream. Hello, The Last Millennial. You missed the beginning of the stream. Yeah, I was just talking in the early parts of this video. The last video I actually released was in early May, and the last stream that I put together was in mid-May. I never released that one. I have, I'll have two videos to actually post up on YouTube, but sad to say, I have not streamed Train Simulator lately. I have not been making the time for it, but here I am again. I'm happy to be making the time on a holiday weekend with Christmas coming up. We are driving along, operating along the Northeast Corridor, taking a P32 ACDM from Grand Central up to South Norwalk. Sorry that you weren't able to join us earlier in the stream. I forgot to announce it on SAX, our Chemitech chat system, but I will be sure to do so in the future. I'm hoping to get a few other streams in during this We're About to Speed. Let's not do that during this holiday quote-unquote break. As you guys know, I never give myself much of a break with Geopipe, but that's the cost of hopefully seeing where it goes. Seven miles to South Norwalk. How's it going with you today, the last millennial? Ha! <laughs> I sound like a train conductor. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, as I was saying earlier, I moonlight as a conductor on at a local train and trolley museum, so I've gotten to hone my craft a little bit there. I think I am a little bit more fluid, actually, on train simulator streams than I am in real life as a conductor, but always an area to work on. Always an area to work on, indeed. Let's speed up. We're going way too slowly. Oh, good. That was, that was polite of PT. I appreciate Alora's... I'm going to take that as a compliment, whether it was a statement or a compliment or a criticism. <laughs> More lights in your Lego city. Is this an IRL Lego city or is this an Eldraw virtual Lego city? Either way, I hope you've posted screenshots on the Chemitech forum in our Lego topic about it. Especially in a forum that I can link Elf Prince 13 to and get him interested in posting more of his Lego adventures, which reminds me, Christmas is coming up and Lego, excuse me, <laughs> Lego, T Elf Prince 13 and his wife, the Elf Princess, probably need more Legos for their Lego collection. Why, thank you. I appreciate that then. Compliment happily taken. That's the goal. That's the goal. I used to like watching these train simulator videos before I ever started making my own as background for just whatever I was working on, coding, designing, writing, and I found them to be not very distracting and a nice just calm, like almost just something hanging out, someone hanging out with you while you worked. And that eventually then led me to want to create them myself. I found that to be a nice just a nice thing to enjoy from other people doing it and then a nice thing to enjoy for myself. And I also find it calming to make these as well, you know. I don't really have to think about anything other than operating the train correctly and keeping, hopefully, a slightly interesting narrative as we go. And I find it, I find it calming and peaceful in that way, so I'm glad to hear it is for you guys too. A real life one and a big video, excellent, soon TM, yes. <laughs> I'm glad you're using the trademark with your soon because we know how reliable soon can be. Four and two thirds miles to South Norwalk. So I think I've talked about this in past streams, many past streams. When I, when I just play for myself and I don't record it for a stream or record it at all, I full screen train simulator across all five of my monitors and make it huge. But in order to get enough frame rate to actually stream it properly, I cannot do that for streaming. I have to put it on just one monitor. So the pauses are me squinting at the little tiny writing of how much distance I have left to go. So I said six and sorry, four and two thirds. Now it's exactly four miles. A little bit of background there. Just four more miles left in this journey, sad to say. I do have other things I need to get to. It is 3.14 p.m. in the real world, 2.28 here in virtual world. So I'll be happy to not speed, a little bit of break, get under the, come on, oh, 16 points there in the grand scheme of things that <laughs> 16 points is not really gonna make much of a difference. 
Uh, I do have some, some... I have, like, one screenshot in the... Uh, what is it? The building a five monitor display topic. The one where I documented actually building my computer. Uh, I should post more. And what I've always wanted to do is put a video camera behind me and film myself in third person perspective with Train Simulator. I think that could be a lot of fun and I think that's something that my viewers would enjoy. I think it would be indeed. So I'll have to get that together sometime. Maybe I can even figure out how to do that over the break. I just don't know what I would use to do the actual recording. Um, my webcam is not very high resolution. I guess I could use my phone. <laughs> I'm sure my clock is correct. I think your clock is wrong. I think you should double check that you haven't shifted yourself over by a few hundred or thousand miles. I think that may be what happened. As we know, all the cool people are in EST. I say no. I say some people, I think some people would disagree with me on that. Two miles to South Norwalk. Fun fact, when I go up to this train and trolley museum, I often ride along this route on Metro North, and South Norwalk has a Pokemon Go gym that often is red, my team, and often has spaces for me to put Pokemon in. Sadly, I cannot put Pokemon in there today because I am only virtually going South Norwalk. It'd be kind of funny to synchronize my phone GPS to train simulator. I do not have any GPS spoofing ability, so. I have not. What's the weather outside like? Warm and sunny, or do you have winter storms? Because it's been about 50 or 60 degrees here in New York. 60 mile an hour zone coming up, leading into South Norwalk. down, do a little braking, down for the 60. And we're going to have to actually keep braking because we need to actually stop at the station. <laughs> so let's do that. You'll notice it's interestingly that if I put like 13% braking effort that it doesn't actually start slowing the train down, which is interesting. Only at about 18% does it actually start doing anything measurable. Low of 13, negative 13, currently negative 4, negative 4, 1.7, oh you're going to make me do math while I'm trying to stop this train at a station. Hello motorcycle, so like 25 degrees Fahrenheit, that's not bad, not bad, oh we need more brakes, more brakes, more brakes. Less brakes, fewer brakes. Thank you, motorcycle. That's what I need for my stream, a motorcycle in the background. Hold on, I think I need a little bit more distance just to get my rear coach into the platform. Come on. Come on. Is it on yet? Come on. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, people. Our engineer stopped the train too soon. There we go. Doors. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to South Norwalk. This is your Danbury connection. If you're going to Danbury today, this is your train. If you're trying to go to Bridgeport, New Haven, or stops in between, you should change here for a northbound New Haven train. Everyone else, thank you for joining us for this train simulator adventure today. It's been fun to do this again. I've enjoyed it. I, of course, feel a little guilty that I spent over an hour on this when I had other things to do, but it's important relaxation, and I hope you guys will enjoy this, whether you are on the stream or whether you will be looking at this later on YouTube. And Eames, uh, who do we have here? We had The Last Millennial, and we had somebody else earlier whose name I'm afraid I forget. Started with a C. 
who join me. I appreciate that. I always enjoy the company. We had a couple of people on Twitch, too, apparently. Another engineer will take over from here to continue the service down the Danbury branch line. Well done. A service well provided. So we ended up with 622 points. We lost a total of 378, unfortunately, primarily due to a little bit of speeding heading into New Rochelle. Always a learning experience. I mean, I've learned this lesson so many times before. If I start explaining things, I stop paying as much attention to what I am doing and miss speed limit changes. So that's an important thing to know for real life driving of trains, cars, and pretty much anything else as well. Anyway, PSA completed, stream completed. Thank you all. See you again very soon. And if I don't speak to you before then, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and see you in the next video. Take care.